From an investing perspective, it's not hard to make an argument in favor of high growth stocks of leading tech companies in industries ripe for disruption. These are the kind of companies that ARK invests in, and that is ARK as an ARKK, the ETF fund run by Kathy Wood. In the modern economy, urban transportation is undergoing a massive transition to electric and autonomous vehicles. Tesla, one of ARC's investments, is leading that charge so far. Additionally, office productivity and even healthcare services will never be the same in the post-pandemic environment. In that sector, Kathy Wood has invested in the likes of Zoom and Teladoc. And with the decline of about 57% from its high reached in February 2021, why not invest in an ETF like ARK? Well, similar to what happened during the dot-com crisis, the formation and the bursting of market bubbles can trick investors into buying dips too early. This can expose an investor to massive losses. Right now, maybe a bit early to invest in ARK, but the time will come. So, let's take a look. And now we're looking at a monthly chart on ARC Innovation ETF, and the symbol is ARKK. And for disclosure purposes, I do not hold any shares of ARC at this time. Now, back here to 2015, the uh, fund traded sideways for a couple of years, but then started increasing in 2017 and went parabolic in 2020 up to this level here, above 150. But subsequently, it's taken a dive all the way down here to 7708 which was the close on Tuesday now that's a decline of about 57 percent so that hurts is it time to get back into arc well let's take a look at the oscillators first volume you can definitely see heavy selling in the previous two months that was very heavy very bad if you were in arc now Moving here into the MACD, you can see that it topped, the fast line topped about here in early 2021, started to erode, came down, and then the fast line crossed through the slow line there in mid-2021. By that time, hopefully you were out, but it's not time to buy, at least as showed by the MAC. We still have a pretty good uh, separation between the fast line there and the slow line here and that separation means there's still volatility perhaps sideways trading and perhaps even some more downside the possibility of upside I think is limited at least at this point now into the histogram you see pretty much the same thing a uh, difficult ride all the way down here we don't see any real sign of bottoming or basing yet into the price rate of change pretty much the same thing with the fast line plunging through that zero line the slow lines on its way down again big separation meaning still more volatility or sideways trading that's the greatest probability relative strength is not too bad but it's at a very weak 33.42 and we just had a move here a fish hook on up it looks like it might have bounced off of the 30 level but uh, can't really say because it looks pretty anemic moving on down into the stochastics again same story fast line slow line moving all the way down here well below the 50 or midline a good separation no real sign of any bottoming or basing the only sign that we're going to get is from the Williams and the Williams has come down to this point here and moved on up but it's still into that oversold territory it's still weak it wants to head on up but it's not really making a hard charge let's move on up back here to the mac take another look and as you can see here again the mac is still on its way down but it is above the zero line so there is still some potential for strengthening 
but right now I don't see too much of any bottoming or basing and for bottoming and basing you want to see this fast line at least turn and perhaps head sideways at least but it's not doing that yet so I think there's still more time that you need to have uh, pass before you get interested in buying into ARC one last look at the price chart and as you can see here it's been a very difficult ride let's just see some congestion build up down here in the bottom and maybe that will be a sign of some basing but until then I'm on the sidelines and for today that's Chew Dog Charts thank you